So I have a huge haul for you guys. <laughs> this is just an accumulation of products over the last couple of months. Um, I went away for the holidays. I went back to Colorado to visit my family. Um, so I went from December 10th to January 10th and I got home and I was just so wiped out. So I've been sleeping and tonight I went out with uh, a bunch of my friends. We went out and did trivia like we normally do. Um, we do that every week, but I haven't been posting any videos showing like me getting ready or anything like that. Just because I've been going through like, do you guys get seasonal affective disorder where you're kind of depressed in the winter and kind of like that whole thing? So I've been going through that a little bit. I had it while I was in Colorado. I have it now, but I'm getting through it. I'm getting now. I'm, you know, keeping busy and just trying to press through. And we had a really, really beautiful day with really nice weather that was just kind of like, I felt like it was God showing us like a taste of spring and it just gave me something to like hope for and to cling to. So I'm super excited about spring coming. I feel, I feel like I can get through the rest of the winter. I, I have, I have faith. So, so if you want to see a lot of stuff, hang in there. If not, this is probably not for you, but like, I'm super silly right now. I had a couple of drinks tonight, so I'm feeling a little giggly, but like... <laughs> it's not it's not too bad so um just so many things I, I have and want to share with you guys and I miss coming on here I haven't felt like making any videos since I got back but today I'm like let's do it I'm excited I miss everybody so thank you to my new subscribers and everybody who's been here you guys have been so sweet to me with all your emails and your comments I'm just so thankful for you guys and welcome to my new subscribers so happy to have you here on this journey with me I talk about makeup I talk about my health journey um, I talk about just all kinds of stuff here just my experiences which is the what my channel used to be called I was making videos for since 2009 2010 so I've been in YouTube for a really long time and I'm just so happy to have you guys um I hope that you enjoy this video because it's gonna be a long one I don't know if I'm gonna try everything on in this video at the end or if I'm just gonna make a whole separate video so um what I think I'll do is just try to stay in order of the things I got like when you know so before I went to Colorado I bought this little zip case I was in Target and I was looking for something to um like an extra container where I can put like my um my lotions and my like shampoos and like what that kind of stuff that, that I would need for like <laughs> why is the words escaping me maybe because I've had a couple of drinks um maybe more than a couple <laughs> um toiletries so, okay, I got this case for by Sonia Kashuk and it's got like a nice like domed zip case where you can fit like a bunch of stuff and then it's got the flat case on the bottom which I thought I could keep like brushes and stuff. So, for Christmas, my mom sent me out there this which I'm super happy to have. It's a, a like a painter's palette and I like this kind of thing. Um, I had it on my Amazon wish list for like mixing um, pigments into various things or mixing foundations with concealers to kind of fit my shade for whatever time of year it is. It comes with a spatula. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm really excited about the shape of the spatula. It has two ends. I'm just, I'm so super excited about this. So thank you, mom. And then, okay, the number one thing that I wanted for Christmas this year. To get that out of the way the natasha denono retro glam palette it's so beautiful i'm not going to show it right now because it's going all over the internet i'm sure you've seen it but i'm obsessed with green eyeshadows so i got this and then before i left i knew i needed my perfume so this bottle was just way too big to carry i was afraid it was going to smash this is the lush american cream perfume this is what i live in if you're wondering this is the best perfume that I found that's super non-offensive. It's light and delicate. Supposedly the notes are strawberry and vanilla, but I don't get that. I just get soft and clean. So I don't know, but I, so I, I ordered the small little itty bitty one. And I think this is even smaller than their old bottle. So this is it compared to the big size, but I just wanted a small one to travel with. So that's how far down I got. This one seems like they changed the formula. Like it's super, a lot more concentrated than it was. So this one, I feel like I can spray it like a body spray, but this one you have to be very careful with. It was making my sister sick. She's like, stop spraying that, I can't breathe. I'm like, I'm so sorry, it's not usually like that. And then while I was there, I was on Amazon um, searching for Christmas gifts, but I found my favorite, favorite, favorite powder foundation, the Milani 
powder foundation in creamy beige. This powder is so amazing. They don't sell it anymore, but you can find it on Amazon. They, I believe they have three colors. I will link it below the colors that they do have. So they have this one, which is creamy beige, which is my color. And I wear this on top of a hydrating, um, what do I wear it on top of? This, the Maracuja Tinted Hydrator. So I have this in my skin color for the winter um, by Tarte. And then this I wear on top of it and my skin just looks so dewy and juicy and like, you know, like an apple you want to take a bite out of. Like, I feel like my cheeks look like that when I wear it. So I'm obsessed with it and I stocked up. I got two of them. So I have one kind of like in that I can put away. Um, I'm still working on one right now. It's I actually depotted it. If you've seen some of my old videos, you will know that it's in my Bare Minerals it's just an old Bare Minerals thing. I kind of put it in here. So I've hit pan on it. It's my favorite powder. It doesn't look cakey. It's so smooth and silky. Milani, what are you doing? Why did you cancel this? It's called the Even Touch Powder Foundation. I really just, creamy beige is my color. So if you're any tone lighter than me, up to medium, I believe you can get away with creamy beige, number 10. Um, and then for bronzer, I saw that they had Warm Toffee, and this is beautiful. So I got another one in the shade Warm Toffee for a bronzer. It's so nice. I think this is probably going to fit me more for the summer. But this is the other one of the three shades that they offered. So I, I believe that this would go from, like, tan to deep. You know, because it's just like kind of almost like a translucent powder. It doesn't build up and get cakey. It's so beautiful. So smooth. Excuse me, I need a sip. All right. And then also while I was there, while I was ordering Christmas gifts, I got a few things from Ulta. So I got the Urban Decay. You guys know I love the Moon Dust eyeshadows, but this is their regular eyeshadows. Um in lucid it's like a really beautiful green and i think this goes really well with the natasha denona palette because look at it it shifts like kind of like purpley pink and green i don't know if you can see all that in this lighting because it's not daytime but it's beautiful i love it so much i wore it on christmas and it's amazing another green eyeshadow i got was the mac joie de glitz it's just this beautiful like it's not emerald green. It's like a goldy green. Oh, it's so beautiful. So I'm obsessed with green eyeshadows. I have green eyes and anything that can bring out the gold and the green in my eyes, I'm I'm obsessed. So those two um, I ordered. Usually they come in a kit, um, the ColourPop Dream Much and Tassel eyeshadow. So I got Tassel, which is like a white shimmery, just a basic white shimmer. Um, for inner corner or all over the lid. I wore this, I believe, on Christmas Day, I think. Um, and the Dream Much that comes with it, I have it on the side, but I, I got Katie, my twin, the color plume. Excuse me. It's like a really beautiful pink. But if you buy them in the kit, this is the color that comes with it, Dream Much. And it's like a beautiful, like, bluey purple. I'm obsessed with Dream Much. It's so pretty for green eyes. All right, so now I can put this away in my drawer. Oh, I love my stuff. Other things that I've ordered. So when I ordered through Ulta or Sephora, I also got this because I forgot to pack it. My e.l.f. Wow Brow. I was running out of it anyway, so I got the e.l.f. Wow Brow in taupe. It's my favorite thing to just run through my eyebrows if I need a little something. And then to prep my lips, I always wear the... Um, soap and glory brand sexy mother pucker pillow plump this is amazing if you have really liny lips it just kind of i'm gonna put it on right now actually um to prep my lips in case i do decide to try stuff on but if not it's just really moisturizing i wouldn't wear this as a gloss because it's kind of gloppy but it like it minimizes the lines in my lips and makes my lips nice and moisturized for any lip product that i would like to put on after so i got another one of those my other i still have this one but it's like really running low like when you open it you can tell it's super running low like there's not a lot in there so i go through this like water um my sister gave me this really cool hair tie thing it's like a metal 
Do you guys remember slap bracelets? It reminds me of a slap bracelet. So it's kind of like that same feeling, but you just grab your hair in a ponytail and it just wraps around and gives you a nice ponytail. I cut my hair, you guys. I cut off like four inches. So I don't know if you can see, but it used to go down, down my back, but now it's still really long, but yeah. Um, also, I think through Ulta or Amazon, I got this. The LA Colors Pro Conceal in the color green. Is it called green? Green corrector for like when I get pimples or just redness. I get a lot of redness right here and around here on my nose. So I figured I would try that to kind of neutralize it and see if I could get the redness to calm down a bit. Um, super cheap. I think it's three or four dollars on Amazon or at your CVS or Walgreens. Points perk, I found, I picked the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour Hydra Foundation. I didn't really wear a lot of makeup while I was in Colorado, but this, when I would put my makeup on, I would use this or the um, Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator, I believe it's called. So this is amazing. Um, you don't need to get Smashbox high end, but since it was like a hundred point perk, I, I just grabbed it and it's amazing. It might be a little too light for me but I was able to warm it up with bronzer. It's a beautiful formula, but you can get the same results from the Wet n Wild Tinted tinted Hydrator. Let me show you what it looks like. Do I have it even in this drawer? <laughs> I found it! <laughs> tinted Hydrator. So you can see like this, this goes well with my skin tone, but this is a little bit too light. And maybe this is a little too dark, I don't know. So the Tinted Hydrator I have in the color Light Medium. So this can go for fair to probably medium skins. It just, it really blends into your skin and you don't notice a difference other than corrective issues. So this is light coverage, I believe, and very hydrating. And it evens out my skin tone and it just looked like skin. I don't remember it being like heavy coverage or anything. So I'm excited to be trying this for you guys on camera. Another thing I forgot to pack was a um, spray, like a setting spray. So while I was there, I grabbed the e.l.f. Stay All Night Setting Spray. I watched a video, you guys, of a girl testing a ton of setting sprays from high end to like the cheapest, and this was the best one. So this is compared to like the highest of the high, like will set your, lock your makeup in your face for the whole day, um, especially your eyeshadow. Cause she was putting eyeshadows on her arm and spraying them with different eyeshadows. And then this just locked it in and nothing smudged. I was super impressed. I'm like, oh, I'm glad I picked that one. And this is my friend Megan's favorite um, setting spray as well. She's, she really loves that. So I went with that one um, for, oh, I think I got this on Amazon. Because when we were in Sephora, just kind of walking around and looking at stuff, I smelled this perfume and it was so sexy and girly. And it reminded me of Victoria's Secret Sexy Little Things Noir. That was my go-to scent for years and they discontinued it. So this is the closest thing I could find to it. It's called um, Carolina Herrera Good Girl Supreme. Um, it comes in the shiny black heel. Like they have like three or four different scents, but it's the shiny black heel with like sparkles at the bottom. And it kind of has this like tobacco warm gourmand, like sexy, sweet. I don't know. It's just, it's so good, but it doesn't, I, I wear it and it gives me a headache. But like the next day I'll wake up and smell it on my skin and I'm like, this is amazing. So you a little goes a very long way. I think this little spritz bottle is going to take me very, very far. So I kind of wish it was a rollerball so I could, you know, have a little bit more control. But anyhow, how far are we in? 15 minutes. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I better speed this along. Okay, so I've been to Ulta online and in store. So let me just dump this in here. I believe I got this on Amazon. I don't, because this was in my Christmas wish list, the... Um, the Bent B12 Sigma Eyeliner Brush. Because it's more like ergonomic. Can you see that? How it's like angled. So I can just hold my hand on my cheek and just kind of draw a line. You know, rather than try and fuss with that other um, brush. But I, I really love a thin brush type liner to like dip into my liquid liners. Because I don't like the brushes that they come with. Like the, the Inkwell ones, you know. Okay, I grabbed at the front I think in Ulta no this was online in their clearance um the vintage cosmetics just another headband 
I got this at TJ Maxx today, this little green one, but I think it's kid size because it's really tight. But I'm just loving these so much and I have, one, two, three, four, I think I have six of them now. I'm obsessed with them. I think they're great. Um, and then a shower cap to match <laughs> because I don't always wash my hair. So and I can just get in the shower and wash my body and not worry about my hair. Buxom Duo Kit, the Backstage Pass. Plumping lip gloss and liner set, and it comes with my favorite lip liner, which is Hush Hush Henna. Hush Hush Henna. I used it all up, and then it comes with my favorite lip gloss, which is Sandy. I am running low. I don't know if you can see that, but like it's down to here. So I'm running out of this, and then I have one to throw in my bag. So I'm super excited. But this lip liner, ultimate, like amazing for fair skin tones with like maybe neutral. Neutral to peach undertones. It's amazing. Hush Hush Henna and Sandy. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I also got the shampoo and conditioner, the large size, the 33 ounce of the Eva NYC. Because this, you guys, has been so amazing for my hair. When I wash my hair with this, it gets it so clean. And it also, like, it feels like um, normally when I wash my hair, I love when it's, like, slippery with conditioner. But this doesn't make my hair slippery at all. It feels like I'm never going to be able to get a brush through it. And I was so freaked out when I first used it. But it totally did. Like, when I brushed my hair, I'm like, how is this working? Like, what is this magic? And it's Made Magic by Eva NYC, and it's cruelty-free. So I have a cruelty-free shampoo and conditioner, which I'm really excited about. Anywhere I can go cruelty-free, I'm happy to do it. So Made Magic. And then this is the um, Split End Mender. I absolutely swear by this. I put this in my hair to kind of control the frizz, and there's like literally 10 different things that this thing does. So if you want to look that up, Eva NYC Made Magic. It smells like American cream by Lush. So it's kind of like my vibe, you know? All right. And then I was having an issue with my scalp. So this is kind of gross. But I was like, why is my hair smell kind of like musty? Like what is happening? Like two days after washing my hair, I'm like, my hair smells kind of funny. What's happening? So I called my doctor and it turns out I have a fungus in my hair. Um, that happens if you don't wash your hair enough or, which I do a lot, is go to sleep with my hair tied up wet. So I was sleeping with wet hair a lot or sleeping with a head buff on. And that can kind of like, when you're sweating, create bacteria growth. And it's pretty gross. So I got special shampoo. But before I got that special shampoo from my doctor, I ordered this. I haven't tried it yet. The Apple Cider Vinegar Hair Rinse Light. It's just an apple cider, for cider vinegar rinse that you do before you wash your hair. And it's supposed to like lift gunk out of your scalp and kind of like antibacterialize it. <laughs> is that a word? Um, it is in my book. So I got that. And then at Ulta, I grabbed another M503. Is that this one? M506, the tapered brush, because my other one was started falling apart. And if this one falls apart, I won't buy another one, but I will look for something that's just like it because it's a teeny tiny little crease brush that's fluffy. I don't have anything to compare it to, but it, it's so tiny and it's perfect for getting the outer corner and getting a nice dark color in there, but it's fluffy. It's not dense. It's super puffy and like diffusing, you know? So I love, love, love that. It's Ulta Beauty Foil Eyeshadow, you guys. <laughs> Megan and I were in there the other day and I was like, what is this magic? They have these eyeshadows called Lustrous Foil Eyeshadow and they had silver and they had gold and then they had rose gold so I grabbed the rose gold I'm just gonna take it off the lid so it feels like chunky it's very chunky but like look at how beautiful it doesn't look rose gold it looks kind of golden but almost more peachy than gold if you see what I mean so I was obsessed I'm like I hate that feels like a color pop Super shock, but like ultra glittery. I really want to try that. So I grabbed it. And then also because of all the hubbub, you guys probably know online with the telescopic L'Oreal mascara. It's called the Lift Mascara. I, I tried this on. My nose stuffed up so much. It felt like there was an elephant sitting on my face. So I'm allergic to this. I will be returning it, but I had to try it. I got it in black brown. I knew better. I can't use L'Oreal mascaras. They always irritate my eyes. So this is going back. 
the Smashbox Original Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer because this is amazing on my nose. You guys, if you've been here for a while, know how much I struggle with the pores on my nose and making everything sit and stick and the whole nine. This is amazing. So I think I'm going to use this only, only, only on my nose and like right here. So I'm super excited about that. This was something specific I was looking for. The new Ulta catalog came out and I'm like, oh, I need that eyeshadow palette. The Morphe 18 Cool Tone Matte Essentials. So this has all cool tones in it, which are matte. There's no shimmer in here. I'm ob freaking sassed. The lady went out back to find me one. Luckily they had one. I don't know if you can see the colors because of the glare. There we go. I'm just so excited. I cannot wait to do a look. It's got like a slate blue. And if you guys remember my whole journey for trying to find a slate blue color, that is what attracted me the most. And then of course, all the cool tone browns. I think cool tones go best with my green eyes and my skin tone. I'm just noticing that about myself. All right, who's ready for Ipsy? <laughs> took me long enough to get here so I don't think I'm going to be trying anything on in this video because this video is way too long I'll probably do another one tomorrow or you know soon um I should let you guys know I have a whole update video coming about like my pain and where I'm at with everything things are starting to ramp up again I'm not able to get my treatments right now so it's been a little bit tricky my pain has been flaring up and I haven't been feeling like doing much so I'm excited to be doing this video today again just to let you know so I got two Ipsy bags, um, while I, um, one while I was away and then one when I got home and I haven't opened them like on video yet. So I'm just like, okay, I'll open them on video and then I'll be able to start playing with everything. So I put everything to the side and here we go. I don't know the order of which everything came in. Everything's kind of jumbled and like mixed in between bags because I've been pulling stuff out and looking at it. Long story short. I have a lot of products from Ipsy. I ordered the Glam Bag Plus just to try it out. And I think I'm just going to stick with a regular Glam Bag. I don't know yet. But um, the Glam Bag Plus is a little bit more money and you get full-size products. So the products I got, I'm very excited about. But all right, let's just get into it. Um, this little bag came, I think this is the bag that has these products. The card doesn't tell anything. All right, I got a NARS Velvet Lip Pencil. The color is so pretty. I think I will try this on for you just so you can see. It's called Dolce Vita. It smells really nice. I love that it's nice and small because I feel like I can get through that product and not worry about having a full size and not using it up. Um, the Sophia and Maybell Two Pretty Highlighter Duo. It's like a cheek cheek duo with a blush and a highlighter I'm gonna pass this along to somebody else because these are too dark for me so that's the blush and the highlighter I really think deeper skin tones would do best with this and it's in the color champagne toast and bubbly Megan already has it so I can't give her one so I think because like, what we do we I think we're putting stuff aside you know for like the women's um stuff maybe either go to shelters or to like women's prizes or something for our church so we're I think we have we don't even have a solid idea of what we're doing on that I don't think but maybe Megan does I'm not sure because she's the um the woman's leader in our church uh okay I got a Shina B lip gloss in Miami it's just a really nice nudie rose color I'll try to swatch some of the stuff as fast as I can so that's Miami it's really pretty on like it's super neutral nude a little bit of pink nothing crazy the it cosmetics hello results wrinkle reducing daily retinol cream this is the second one i have of these so it's kind of cool because i love it cosmetics skincare so i'm using those up and then this is so pretty the pear nova nail polish I got one from them before but this one is called luxury and it's a beautiful green I tried it on and I don't love it with my skin tone it's really nice but I have a, another green that I like better so I think I'm going to pass this along um in the, the batch of women's stuff either to a shelter or um I, I don't really know where it's going but I'm, I'll talk to Megan about that and I'll let you guys know what we decide 
Yeah, so nothing came. This was January. The bag for January, the year of you. Nothing is inside showing the prices or what the products are. But this is the bag it came in. Super cute. Gonna put it in the pile for the ladies. Okay, so I did the Ipsy regular order. And like I said, the glam bag. And then they did... Um, add-ons so I don't remember what's what but this is everything I got so the KVD good apple foundation in the color light 004 I'm really just I touched it you can see my little fingerprint right there but I haven't like tried it full on I just put it on my skin to see if it would match it might be a little light because her colors run like there's so many colors beyond like that are lighter than my skin tone, which is crazy because I feel like I'm the palest of the pale, but I think this should be a good color. I think I can make it work. So I think I'm gonna try it on in another video. I'm so excited to try it. I've been dying to try it for a long time. There was this palette, the True and Luscious Lucky Glow Bronze and Highlight Palette. I'm figuring out that these colors might be too deep for me. I'm not sure. I have to play with it a little bit. So I told Megan, Megan, you might end up with this palette. But she says she doesn't wear a lot of highlighters. And these two are highlighters. That's a highlighter. These are bronzer and contour. And that's a beautiful blush. But I feel like I already have a color of that color. So I think I got this for $12. Or I forget the steps. It goes like $3.50. And then I think it jumps to 12, like all the add-on stuff, and then 18 and 20. I'm sorry, I don't remember the order. That would be maybe be good for me to keep on the side if I do someone else's makeup, I'm thinking. Like deeper skin tones than I have, I can start a kit for doing freelance makeup artistry. Because that's something I love to do as well. I've done a few things. I've done a bridal party. I've done um, just a few single people that have like events to go to and all kinds of stuff. So yeah. All right. Bella Pierre, 1999 four color eyeshadow palette. It looks like this on the outside and it's all purples. It's so pretty, which are amazing for green eyes. So I've already tried this color on. It's so pretty. It's just so delicate and like spring like, and I can't wait to wear this more for you guys and do a look. I was so confused because I didn't realize I had ordered a Glam Plus bag and I knew a Winky Lux palette was coming. So I'm like, what is this palette? I got a freaking Tarte palette. You guys, if you've been here for a while, know how much I love Tarte. I'm so excited because you can't get this in store. You could only get it like in certain places. And look at this. Look how cute. How cute is that? And it's all warm tones, which is amazing for the summertime. Look at these. Oh, I can't wait to get my hands in this palette. Why does it look like they're smudging? I literally have not touched this palette yet, but oh my goodness. I can't wait to play with that. Okay, the Pure Lease. What is this guy? Perfect Glow BB Concealer. I tried this on. It's so nice. It's so nice. You don't need to set it with a powder. Oh my goodness. This is amazing concealer. I'm super excited about it. It's just tricky for me because I've been using a, a, um, this is what I've been using the most, like other than like, instead of concealer, I've just been using the Neutrogena peach corrector instead of concealer. And it's the best thing ever. I don't want to use anything else. So when I tried this on though, I was super impressed and so excited about it. So I know I will be doing looks with that. The Viseart Paris love letter palette. Look how cute this is. It's like a little envelope. I've heard so many things about Viseart, and then the colors are just so me. I mean, look at that. They're too light for my skin tone. The only color I think I got, you know, like excited about were these two. The purple and then the taupey, the taupey shade. Everything else, I mean, the green is okay. It's like other greens I have. Oh, no, 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 no. This one right here. This one's really pretty. But I mean, I feel like you have to be super pale to wear this palette. And this is in the shade, oh yeah, I said love letter. Next thing I got was the Tres Luce or Tres Luce highlight palette. I opened this up thinking, I don't know if they sent this to me or if this is something I picked. I think they sent this to me in the Glam bag, a Glam Plus bag. And it's 
all highlighters. So I really think I'm just going to send this to my sister because she's obsessed with highlighters. So I haven't touched it, but like, look at all these colors. They're so fun. There's like a nice white one, a kind of like gold, like a copper. This is more copper. This is more gold. And then there's like a peachy pink right there. So I think she'll have a lot of fun with these. I'm not even going to touch it. I'm just going to send it out to her or give it to the women's group. I'll ask her what she thinks, if she wants it or not. Because I have more than enough highlighters to mess around with. And none of these colors excite me. As sad as that is to say, they just don't. And then this palette I was super excited about. The Winky Lux Latte Kitten Palette. <laughs> How cute is that? Look how cute this is. So these are the colors. They're like super everyday appropriate. I mean, this could bring it in tonight, but so pretty right up my alley. Absolutely amazing. I'm just so excited to do a look with these. Listen to the colors. Frothy, Sugar Crystal, Brulee, Chai, Honey Lavender, Hazelnut, Nutmeg, Hibiscus, and Cinnamon. I'm obsessed with tea and um, coffee. Well, I don't drink that much coffee, but I love it. So I drink coffee kind of like as a special treat. Because if I drink too much coffee, I'm like, oh, and you guys don't need that. We're already too crazy here. So there, apparently there's another bag. Did I show you the other one? Like fuzzy purple really soft like I imagine if I had a cat they would want to sit on this and then this bag neither one of them are like anything special but I think little kids might like those so I'm I'm gonna pass them on oh you guys we got what hang on I'm kind of confused all right so that that blush and um highlight palette was Sophia and Maybell two pretty palette and bubbly and champagne toast that was a $22 palette. And then the Bella Pierre Purple palette was $25. Juliet has a Gun Magnolia Bliss perfume. I gave that to my mom for her birthday, so that's not in this um, set. But this eyeshadow brush is the SLM or SL Miss Glam TT04 flat brush, and this retails for $24. That's an expensive brush. And then the Tarte Face Tape Foundation in 12N Fair Neutral. Is that in here? I don't remember having that. If that's in here, I'm super excited. The It Cosmetics Hello Results little um, retinol cream I showed you is a deluxe sample, but the full size is $69. Um, and then the NARS Cosmetics Mini Velvet Lip Pencil, the full size is $27. All right, we got stuff. I tried this on already. This is the Trifle Cosmetics Lava Liner. It sucks. I'm sorry, Trifle Cosmetics, but it didn't stay up. It like dried and then crumbled off. And then as soon as it got wet or sweaty or whatever, it just melted off. So I'll probably just put it in a, in a pile for other women to like go through. If they want it, they can have it. I don't have cooties, so. Um, I tried it on one eye once and it, it sucked it. It just melted right off. Um, I think this was an extra on the add-on. So I got the MOTD killer pair of classic slant tweezers. I needed a new pair of tweezers. So I got these also in the add-ons, they had these like large claw clips, which is crazy. Cause I, I wanted them because my hair was so long, but then I cut my hair, but they're so hard to open. I can't figure, there we go. They're so hard to open. <sighs> Anyways, they're really cute though. I love this shape. And I got other claw clips too that are, let me just show you actually while I'm talking about claw clips. So on Amazon, I got a bag. This was like super cheap with all these like kind of neutral colors. They're not too bright or too crazy, but like I might send this back cause I don't know how many use it, but it's all these like square clips and I've seen TikToks of people using these and it makes it so easy to tie your hair up. Oh my goodness. And that's what I was hoping these were going to be, but they seem so impossible. So I don't know what I'm going to do with all this. Probably women's and then return to Amazon. I returned so much stuff to Amazon today. Because stuff I got that I was like, oh, this is going to be so helpful and so nice. No, it wasn't. I didn't need it. 
This is the size of the shape tape I got. <laughs> it's so cute. It's so tiny. Let's just put it on my cheek and see if it even matches. What shade is this? Fair neutral. This should be my shade exactly. I'm fair and neutral. Let's see. Oh, 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 that was too much. Okay. That is way too light. It smells like a grandma. I'm not that bright. I think I did too much. I think if I applied this with a sponge, it feels really good, you guys. I don't know if it's just because it's so light, but it looks like makeup. I like to put my foundation on and have it blend in and look like skin, but evened out with the redness and everything, which it did do. As you can see from this side to this side. I don't know. That might be my color. Is my neck like a lot darker than my cheek right now? It feels so smooth. All right. At least I got to try that with you guys. That's exciting. I don't have any primer on on my nose and it's sticking to dry patches. Can you see all the, I, I can never tell what we can see or not because I don't have glasses on, but it is like really obvious that there's makeup on my nose. I try the good apple real fast. We're at 42 minutes. This is, I'm almost done. I think, I think I'm almost done. Oh, so close. Hang in there, you guys. Let's just put the good apple on this cheek and see if it blends in like what kind of texture we got because I'm very curious about it I've tried it on my hand because I knew it was coming so I went to Sephora and put it on my hand and I was so excited because I'm like this is my color I think it's supposed to be a dewy hydrating oh you guys it feels so good I think I'm gonna love this Okay, I'm super excited. All right, moving on. Um, I got a plum color affair. Nail polish is like a little teeny tiny thing. I already know I'm going to pass this on because I have a color like it in my collection. So I think I'm going to give this to Megan's daughter or whoever wants it. It's fun. I like making piles of stuff to give to the ladies or to kids or because, I mean, I'm not going to use all of this, you know. Oriza Beauty Nebula Shimmer Eyeshadow Palette. I've already opened this. I think I have a few of these colors 10 times over in my palette collection. Um, they're so beautiful. I want to swatch them so bad, but I feel like I have these colors and I don't want to touch them if I can give it to someone else, you know? Oh, do you guys want to see my sneakers? Maybe I'll show you my sneakers at the end because they're so cute. So this headband that I'm wearing, I got at TJ Maxx and it's by Hey Cutie Beauty Headband. It was $3.99. Super cheap cheap super cute and then i got for seven dollars the stila plumping lip glaze in the color davina so cute you guys look at this color it is so juicy so this is what the container looks like it's super luxurious looking and sleek and it's light and then this is the color in davina <laughs> grab some nail files because I'm always needing a nail file. I kind of want to keep one in my car and just in different places if I need one because I'm always needing a nail file. This was $3.99 by Lifestyle Products. Compare it $5. Okay. <laughs> I got these earrings today at TJ Maxx. It's just a cute little pair of cubic zirconias and some little butterflies. When I was in Colorado, I had no idea that my earring holes were still open up here. So I was able to put, I have one here, one here, and one up here. So excited it's because I can put earrings in them. And I wore these tonight and they were so cute. They were so cute, but like I have been eating through some lip gloss, you guys. If I wear anything out, I wear mascara, a little bit of cream blush, and some lip gloss. And I just keep applying, keep applying, keep applying because I love it. So, okay, then I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the color Ashton. Oh, how much was this one? This one was 
Oh, but you can't beat the prices. I haven't tried this on yet on my face. <gasps> I kind of want to try it on. Hold on. I just want to see what it feels like and how it doesn't smell like anything. Because, you know, I don't like to wear a red because red is so, like, red. But I like a brown or, like, a, a neutral. This is actually very folly looking. How much different is it? <laughs> I have a type. So my Too Faced Matte Liquid Lipstick in Pumpkin. That's it under... <laughs> They're too close. You can't even tell a freaking difference hardly at all. Oh no. But the Too Faced one smells gross and the Anastasia one doesn't smell like anything. So we'll see how different the formulas are so far. This feels really soft. It feels like skin. It feels like my natural lips. I feel like the Too Faced one was very like kind of crumbly. I know it's not like an even application, but it feels really good. I don't think I let it dry enough. I'm kind of in love with the shade. You know what? It's wearing off already. Oh, it's making a mess. Can you see that? I licked my lips and it's already coming off. That's a bummer. I don't know if I can return this. Can you return stuff to TJ Maxx when it's on sale? Probably not. All right. I saw these little mini Benefit um, blushes for $5.99, the new shade in Georgia. I've always wanted to try a Benefit blush. I heard they're amazing and they smell good. I don't think any of them smell good. They all stink, So I got, but I got this shade and um, it's called Georgia and it's like a peachy orangey. I have fair skin. I, I couldn't tell because I couldn't swatch it in the store. Maybe it's it'll be a nice blush topper because it kind of has that shimmer going. I'm sorry, it's right here. I don't know. The little brush that comes with it. Let's see. Oh, I don't like the smell. I hate the smell. It's just very perfumey. Hopefully it won't last. But I think that on top of the right blush shade, this will like kind of like tone it down. Oh, it's nice and shimmery. You guys seeing that shimmer? Yeah. Oh, I like that. I really like that a lot. All right, moving on. Almost done. Hang in there, you guys. Thank you for watching this far. If you did, I think. Okay, this is the last makeup thing, and then I'm going to show you the sneakers I got at Skechers today. So um, I went to the skincare section of um, at TJ Maxx, and I saw this Ultra Repair, Repair Cream by, what am I trying to say? Ultra Repair Cream by First Aid Beauty. This is one of my favorite skincare companies in existence. I think they are fantastic. The smells can kind of be a little weird, but like this is like their hand cream, but with like a little sweet scent. So it's not so bad. And this is the sugar plum scent in the intense hydration. Um, so I wanted a skin um, cream, a small one that I can fit in my bag. And this was $4.99. Amazing price for a high end, like really good skin cream. If you're looking for something amazing for your skin, for your hands, First Aid Beauty, they're, um, colloidal oatmeal intense hydration line but this one has like that just nice sweet kind of girly light scent which I love so that's that and we are almost an hour in what else do I have to show you my shoes how cute they give you like a reusable like amazing bag so I needed a new pair of sneakers and I ditched my last pair in Colorado. I wasn't gonna bring them home because they were falling apart and I'm just like, I need room in my suitcase. So I'm like, oh, I'll find something. I've been looking on Amazon. I've been looking in all like Burlington Coat Factory and like um, Kohl's and all that and they had stuff. But I found these. I'm very into pink lately. And you guys know how I love a shipper on the lid. These laces are shimmery. <laughs> I'm just like, 
what? That's so cute. So I got these really, really cute sneakers and then it was buy one, get your second pair for half off. Although I got something from clearance so it didn't apply to me. So, but the point is, is if you're going to Skechers, they have a buy one, get it half off. The clearance does not apply. So that's my main pair of sneakers. I needed a good pair of sneakers. I went to the chiropractor today and luckily nothing bad is going on. <laughs> um, I just have a little bit of a spasm in my back and um, an issue with one of my hips being higher than the other. So we're trying to like figure out what to do. And the doctor said I may, I may need some support, arc support, but I tried on all the arc support, arch, arch support shoes and they were uncomfortable. They were all pushing on my arch. I have a nice heart, high arch in my foot. I don't have flat feet or anything like that. I have really like, I like to say I have cute feet, okay? I think my feet are very cute, but like I didn't need the arch support. So I, I grabbed a pair of shoes that I thought were super cute and I'm really into the pink vibe and like the pink rose gold situation. So I picked those and then um, these were on clearance. I had to. So these are the kind of style of sneakers I wear all the time, but these, do you see what's on them? <laughs> They're kitty cats. I want cats so bad, but I try these on and I'm like, oh, they'll be such a better, um, more durable than my Walmart sneakers. Cause Walmart sells these shoes, you guys. You do not need to go to Skechers or any place else. You can get these for 10 bucks at Walmart, but I got these for $24 at Skechers and they're just the cutest shoes I've ever seen in my life. I'm like, should I not get these? I'm 42 years old, are these kid shoes? But I'm like, I don't care. I don't care. They're so cute. Oh. And they're nice and tan. They go with my vibe. Oh, they're so adorable. All right. So that's my haul of everything, you guys. I've been procrastinating making this video. And I'm so excited to be sitting down and doing this with you guys. Thank you for watching all the way if you did. It's such a long video, but I had so much fun. Oh, wait. Let's check on the lipsticks. Because one of them is smudging. Oh, they're both smudging. Oh, no. Oh no, that's not good. That's not good. I'm not happy. Oh no. <laughs> Name that movie. <laughs> all right, I'm a little tipsy. That's all right. I'm not drunk. So, you guys, as always, just please know that I am thinking of you guys all the time. And every time I see a new subscriber or a new comment, I'm so thankful. And I am thinking of you guys and I'm praying for you. And if you have any specific prayer requests, please let me know because I love to pray. I, I have a heart for people going through hard things, especially things that I go through like chronic pain, drug addiction, um, just anything and everything, you guys. Just if you're going through something and you feel like nobody understands and you don't know who to talk to, please just email me. I would love to pray for you. I won't, I'm not going to like share it on my platform or anything like that. It's just in my email, which will be listed in the description box below. No pressure. You do not have to email me, but if you're looking for somebody to pray for you, I would love to do that. I pray in the name of Jesus. I love the Lord. I, I just want to see the world being healed in little bits if I can. And if I can help out, I would love to do that by praying because I am a faith-filled, Holy Spirit-filled believer and I would love to pray for you. So, all right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Take care. Have a good rest of your week. Have a good weekend. Stay warm if you're on the East Coast. I don't know how far this cold spell is going to spread, but it's going to be really cold here on the East Coast. And this is pulling my head. You see, it's coming off. Like, I can feel my eyes pulling back into my head. Um yeah i love you guys so much i'm so thankful that you're here and that you enjoy my videos and that you watch and you spend time with me um if you guys make videos please oh that too if you make videos please let me know in the comment because i would love to come by your channel and check out your content and what you make you know and then we can create a little kind of community here so all right you guys thank you so much talk to you soon bye love you guys